The next concept before us is uh, irreflexive relation. What is meant by an irreflexive relation? What is the meaning of that? Let's see, regarding the word reflexive or reflexive pair, you have two relations, namely reflexive relation and identity relation. Identity relation must contain all the reflexive pair A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, hum, whatever element present in A, its reflexive pair must be in I. And R is a superset of identity relation. Good. Now you observe this example. A is equal to 1. 2, 3. R is equal to 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. R1 is equal to 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. Is R reflexive? 1, 1, okay. 2, 2, okay. 3, 3, not okay. So, this is not reflexive. What do you say about this R1? 1, 1. No. 2, 2. No. 3, 3. No. Not even a single reflexive pair is possessed in R1. Such a relation, such a relation is said to be irreflexive. And it's the mathematical form of the definition of an irreflexive relation is A belongs to A means A, A does not belong to R. This is the strong way to define an, an, an irreflexive relation. No question of possessing a, not even, even a single reflexive pair. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, whatever reflexive pair. It can never be an element of the relation. Such a relation is of course called irreflexive relation. What can you define? How can you define? Let R be a relation on A, that is R is a subset of A cross A. Then R is said to be irreflexive if A belongs to A implies R to the pair A A does not belong to R at all. That is the case with the irreflexivity. Okay, let us have a proper and properly framed sentence. If A is A non-empty set R is a subset of A cross A then R is said to be an irreflexive relation If A belongs to A implies ordered pair A A does not belong to R. That is the meaning of an irreflexive relation. That is the meaning of an irreflexive relation. Yes. And there has been a formula also for this. You may wonder at it. What is the number of reflexive relations on a set A? And 2 power n into n minus 1. The same formula can be used again to have the number of irreflexive relations also. What is the number of irreflexive relations? Same 2 power n into n minus 1. 2 power n into n minus 1. The same old formula for number of irreflexive relations and number of reflexive relations also. That's it about reflexivity. Irreflexivity. Well done. Can you give me an example of an irreflexive relation using mathematical relations? Yes, of course. Less than on the set of real numbers. Can you find a real number x such as x less than x? No. You can never find such a reflexive pair. Less than is irreflexive. Greater than is irreflexive. Perpendicular to on the set of all straight lines. Is irreflexive. Is irreflexive. Is a father of human relations. Is irreflexive. 
is a reflexive. Like that you can have as many reflexive relations uh, as you can and as you want. That is nothing but called uh, irreflexivity. That is irreflexivity. Well, let us now, the others, let us now see the other side of symmetry. That is uh, another development of the symmetry character. Regarding symmetry, there has been another name of relations also. That is uh, anti-symmetric relation. What is meant by that? We'll now be going to do that. Well, you please recollect the formula 2 power n into n minus 1. What is the number of reflex relations? 2 power n into n minus 1. Suppose uh, a is equal to some a, b, c. What is the number of reflex relations? 2 power 3 into 2. That is 2 power 6, 64 is the number of reflex relations. Is the number of irreflexive relations okay? Yes.